Scott Harrison is a photographer who doesn't have to look too far for inspiring shots like these. And I, I try to stay within the Hudson Valley period because uh, where we live is one of the most majestic places in the country as far as I'm concerned. His artwork consists of elements of photography and oil painting. I would say I use a lot of high dynamic range photography, uh, they call it HDR, and with this little spin on it of a, of a painting. His equipment is simple, just two cameras. I shoot with the Sony A series and then I use a, a Canon 80D. But Scott wasn't always into photography. Prior to his newfound gift, he was simply an auto parts counterperson at a local car dealership. But in December of 2014, everything changed. Scott was involved in a drunk driving collision. I got banged up pretty good. I was just, uh, just trying to get home from work that night and 5.15 at night, just, just trying just try to get home to my wife to have dinner. The driver of the car that collided with Scott was driving under the influence of alcohol. And in an instant, Scott Harrison's life changed and would never be the same. The adrenaline rush and everything, you know, I should have went to the hospital. I just wanted to get home. You know, I, I ended up going the next day and had to have a neck fusion. He was laid up in the hospital for seven months and passed the time watching YouTube videos. And I watched a lot of how-to videos on uh, how I want to shoot this, what I need to learn. And with that, you know, you get to hit stop and rewind quite a few times till you get it right. <laughs> you know, it's definitely beneficial. When he was released from the hospital, Scott decided to delve more seriously into photography. Instead of sitting in the house and becoming depressed, I figured I'd pick up the camera and get out the best I can. And from the moment he was in that near-fatal accident three years ago, Scott now sees everything differently. Everything that I see now, I kind of see it as an oil painting, if you will. I go back to my computer, my, my software, and I, I regenerate what I saw to, uh, to bring it to the public in that light. And um, a lot of positive feedback from it. As we said, his focus is on the Hudson Valley, but in particular, his love for his hometown, Beacon. The streets of Beacon. A, a lot has changed there since I was born here. I'm born and bred there 45 years, and uh, I've seen it go from not so great to a uh, pretty booming town right now. You know, and uh, there's always something new, always something new to shoot there.